here in the farm, I want to talk a little bit about water quality for fish. This is really one of the most important parameters because if your fish are stressed out, it can affect the performance and the balance of the entire system. So a couple key things we really want to focus in on. Water temperature is really one of the most important things for the fish. We want to make sure that that temperature is stable. It's not fluctuating all over the place. Fish cannot regulate their own body temperature like humans can. So they're entirely dependent on the water temperature uh, to make sure that it's in the safe parameters for their particular species. So we want to keep it nice and stable and controlled. We also want to look at dissolved oxygen levels. Fish need DO levels generally between three parts per million up to eight parts per million. Uh, some fish like tilapia can handle lower oxygen levels. Some fish like trout uh, can handle and really need higher oxygen levels in the water. So using a dissolved oxygen probe uh, to regularly check DO levels is really important. Those levels can also decline after feeding times as well. So making sure that you're taking those uh, measurements uh, either before and after feeding levels will give you a really good profile of the overall DO in the system. Other important factors, ammonia and both ammonia and nitrites are toxic to fish. So we're going to want to be testing for ammonia. Fish are producing ammonia regularly through their urine, feces, and respiration. And so our biological filtration system, which we talk about in a different module, is really there to help regulate and convert ammonia into nitrates. But if ammonia levels get too high, oftentimes over one part per million, then we might need to re either reduce the feeding, potentially do a partial water change, or do some or introduce some beneficial bacteria to help reduce those ammonia levels. Nitrites are also toxic to fish, so making sure that we keep those levels below one part per million is generally a good rule of thumb. And that can also be done through reductions in, in feeding if necessary as well. But if those levels are constantly getting too high, oftentimes looking at the biological filtration system uh, is one of the first places to start. Okay? So making sure water quality uh, is really spot on for the fish is going to be critical because that's the really the most important thing that affects the overall performance and balance uh, of the system.